Good morning. So I went to the dentist today. In case you can't tell, half of my face is not really moving when I talk. Um, so I went to the dentist today and I had ended up having to have four shots of Novocaine. Um, he gave me one to begin with, four shots, two on the bottom, two on the top, two on the bottom. He started with giving me one and started working on my top and, um, I felt it just a little bit to begin with and I was like, well, I'll just see if I can tough it out because maybe he's not going to go that deep. Maybe it won't be quite that bad. But then he hit a spot and I'm like, oh no, I'm feeling that. So I eh, need another shot. So I ended up with two on the top and with the first one, I, I kind of vaguely felt numb, but I took a picture and you could see where my mouth was droopy. So I'm like, well, it's definitely numb, even though if I don't feel it very well. And... Um, but then when he put the second one in, oh, that one really kicked in. Cause I could feel it up and through my nose. This is, I can feel, this is, not, well, I can't feel it. It's numb. But, um, I could feel where the numbness was creeping up into my, up top of my eyes, the bottom of my eye socket and my nose. And so, um, and then he started working on the bottom, put one shot in there, thought it was going to be okay. And then he barely even touched that one. And I'm like, no, 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 I feel that. So second one on the bottom, he's like, that's okay. You're just a two shot. That sounded funny. You're just a two shot kind of cow. <laughs> okay. But I'm very thankful that they're very nice and patient. Um, I used to go to a dentist where um, she would get really mad when I would need more than one shot. And one time she even said, there's no way. There's no way you're, you, you feel this. And I'm like, I'm sorry, I do. And she rammed that needle so hard into my mouth. Um, it really made me cry and just I could just feel her frustration she was taking her frustration on, out on me and that was one of the last times we end up going to that dentist because I'm like I'm done I, I don't care it's I'm not going there anymore anyway so now we're at this other dentist and they're really great and they're really understanding um, I tend to need a lot of dental work I just have icky teeth I guess um, that for the record they've said it's not really my it's not a result of my dental care. They say it's very obvious that I take care of my teeth. I brush my teeth. I floss. It's just I just don't have very good teeth. Um, and so I need a lot of cavity fillings. And I even started, I used to not go very often. And then it's gotten so bad after I had my root canal last year or the beginning of this year. I had a root canal semi recently. Um, and then I was like, okay, I need to start going every six months because stuff if I just let it go too long and in fact I just went six months ago and then loop lo and behold within six months I have these two really icky cavities and the dentist was like oh, I'm a little concerned about that top one it's pretty deep but he didn't have to do work out today but he said if it gives me any more problem that I probably need to get a crown or something before it does turn into a root canal so yay Anyway, I thought I would share my dental experience with you today. I love the dentist there at Galva Family Dentistry. They've always been really great with um, my kids see Dr. Martin. I see the other one. Eh, I always forget how to say his name. I've been seeing him for several years and I don't know how to say his name. I always say Dr. Bailowski. I don't think that's right though. In fact, last time I even said, how do you say his last name? Because I've been seeing him for years and I don't know how to say his last name. I'm pretty sure they didn't say Bailowski. I think they said something else. But anyways, they're really great there. They're worth a drive because we have to drive 30 minutes to get there and they're definitely worth it. So. All right, have a good day. Bye.